Hi, welcome to the Northern Woodshop. Now today's project, we'll be doing this little Christmas tree uh, decoration for your homes. Very easy project to do. I'll show you step by step how to do it and we'll have fun doing it. First things first, uh, you need to choose what type of wood that you're going to use for this, this project. I tend to use any scrap of wood I have laying around my workshop. Uh, but you can either buy your wood or, you know. What we're going to do today, uh, I have this piece of uh, cedar board that I have laying around. It's about a one eighth of an inch thick. Um, so we'll be using this type of wood to, uh, to create our, our tree for today. And the tool I'll be using is my Dremel motor saw. Now I bought this tool a few years ago. Um, it's compact, it it's, uh, doesn't take much room, and I, I find it's very, um, uh, it, it's great for these types of projects because it's very easy to work with. Now first thing, first step, once you have choose, once you chose the type of wood you're going to use, you trace your pattern on the, uh, on the piece of wood. Like I did right now, it's already traced in pencil, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but everything's there, it's ready to go. So now we're ready to cut. First things first, first step in all projects in a workshop, eyewear. Eye protection, always important. And now we'll start cutting. Okay, so once you're done cutting, your tree will look something like this. Now again, the pattern you choose is totally up to you. It could be a totally different design. I like this design because it's pretty, it's a, it's a simple design to, uh, to cut. So once you're done with the cutting, very important thing to remember, it's important to drill a small hole right here in this part. I don't know if you can see it because this is where you're gonna hang your ornament later on, okay? So at this stage of the project, um, it's time to decide the finishings of your tree. Are you gonna leave it natural? Are you gonna stain it? Are you gonna paint it? Now, in this case, I've decided to stain my tree. Now, I have a pre-stained piece here just to, to, uh, to show you. So I've just chosen this um, uh, chestnut color. It's the same design, stained on both sides in case someone wants to, uh, you know, you, can, you, you, you sit on both sides, uh, uh, the decoration if it's in, in a living room or in a special room of your homes. So once it's stained, it's time now to put this tree on the base. Very important, the base uh, can be uh, done in, in any material that you, pref that you like. So again, uh, you need to choose uh, the type of wood you're going to use. Is it going to be scrap wood? Uh, store-bought wood or a wood slice, any type of wood that you prefer. In this case, I've chosen just a simple wood slice, a store-bought wood slice. This is about uh, four inches in diameter. Uh, it's, a, it's a soft wood, so again, it's very easy to work with. So I'll be using this base for my little tree. Now, first step is to put this tree just standing up like this. And with a pencil, trace the outer line, the thickness of your tree, okay? So you'll end up with a rectangle shape. I don't know if you can see it on, your, on the camera. Um, so you have this rectangle shape. Now, the next step to do is to drill a hole, one at each end of this rectangle shape because this is where you're going to insert the, uh, the scroll saw blade through your piece of wood to cut that slot to insert your tree later on, okay? So once you've drilled your, your holes, it'll look something like this. And if you can see it on, your, on the screen, so you, have the, you still have the, the thickness of, your, of your, uh, your tree and the two holes where you'll insert your, um, the scroll saw blade in one of the holes. So we'll do that right now. So now we need to remove the blade from the scroll saw. Put the blade through the hole and reinstall your blade. Okay, 
Here we go. Again, eye protection, very important. Okay, so once you're done cutting your uh, the slot, you uninstall the blade, and you'll end up with something like this, okay? Now at this stage, it's time to insert the tree in the slot. Now the trick is not to, uh, to cut the slot too wide because then your tree will simply fall through um, your base. So it needs to be a little snug, okay? Now in this case, I've just cut it slightly smaller than the line I drew. It's a little too snug. So what you can do at this point, you just take a wood chisel and just remove any excess wood that's in the way for your tree to be inserted properly in the slot. Okay. It just takes a few minutes. I think this, this should do the trick. I'll try it now. There we go. You just push it in. This one's pretty snug. And there you have it. It's inside. It's inserted in the um, in the wood base. So at this point, all you need to do is pick any ornament you prefer, stick it on here in this little hole, and there you have it. Your Christmas tree is done. Is complete. It roughly takes about an hour's time to complete everything. So it's really you can, you know, it makes a nice Christmas gift or any ornament that you, uh, you you like to have around your house. All right, I hope you had fun today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay safe.